Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Razer video and I'll be opening and reviewing the Philips One Blade electric razor or trimmer which I have it right here. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this hybrid channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas to take you beyond boundaries. If you're into thinking outside the box, this is the channel for you. If you're looking for more grooming videos, there will be links in the description box below. So I have heard a lot of good things about Philips One Blade electric shaver or trimmer and I wanted to give it a try so I purchased a copy uh, this is with my own money not a paid or affiliated review there are no affiliated links so they have a variation of models so for example this is a QP2630 which is uh, right here and also the model number is uh, going to be another place which is QP2630 uh, Two six three zero twenty one. So basically, this one can cut uh, face and body hair. And uh, if you are looking for another model like QP twenty five thirty, then it would cut only, let's say, face, not body. So before you buy anything, just you know, go through the Philips website and check which uh, model you require. So you don't want to buy the model you don't need. So basically, uh, I purchased uh, to uh, cut both face and body hair. So I'm going to be opening this up, then I'll shave with it, and then you know I'll give you my opinion whether it is difficult to use or easy to use. I've never used uh, this product before. I have never opened this product before. So I'm going to be opening this for the first time and see, we're going to take a look what we have inside. So the packaging looks like this. It's a very eye-catchy packaging, but the problem is that this has lots of plastic. So it looks like there's lots of waste in it. And here you have information like, you know, you can trim face, body, shave, and then there's the blade. So looks like there's a little bit technique to open the box. So let's see how you open this. I have a feeling that you have to just pull these towards the end and they might uh, come off. Oh, actually you're right. So looks like that's how it works. But this part, okay, so both of them uh, came off. And then let me see if it opens or there's something more here. Okay, so I think this should be okay to open. I don't know why they make packaging like this, which is always hard to open. So the thing is, I cannot even open here. So I think I have to cut here. Uh, so I'm just going to pick up a scissor and I'll just, you know, remove this part. Okay, so I think this is the way, I'm not sure, but definitely one of the worst products I have seen in terms of designing. You know, you have to be, like, I even don't know how to open this. Okay, so I'm going to stop the camera for a second just to figure out how to open this, then I'll come back to you. Okay, so I had to literally break the packaging. It just, there's no way, like, you know, you can open uh, intuitively, so this is a very bad designing and I don't know why they don't make it simple so after opening uh, this is what we have here and it still looks like you know it's not out all the way so even there's more you know more things stuck in here uh, and okay so let me see if I can open this yeah so definitely they need to you know do something about their packaging and you can see that you know I have to break these. So they added a brochure uh, or manual. I'm not going to go over it. And then here we have a small card with usage indicator. So basically as you uh, use your blade, the green bar starts to appear when highly visible that, okay. So it looks like, you know, when you start using this, then there's going to be a green bar appearing. And that means that time you have to change the blade. Uh, that's what I'm guessing and then here I see that uh, there's one blade and then we have uh, I think there's another blade and these are combs and even you can you can see here that even these are hard to open so that's very poor designing again okay I don't this one even doesn't come off so let's see how it works
okay so it's able to remove this and then we have another stubble comb and this one came off so I think these are just uh, waste uh, so the main thing we have is here uh, the razor or the body and then we have uh, blade I'm going to you know uh, get used to it how to use it and then you know the next part of the video is going to be I'll actually shave with the, this product and then I'll give you my opinion John so I'm going to start shaving with the Philips one blade which I have it right here it took me about uh, five six hours to charge it fully and I'm going to show you actually uh, the different types of accessories which I was not able to uh, you know uh, know yesterday so these are these four are stubble combs so these are like you know uh, when you want to trim your stubble so there are four pieces and this is a skin guard so this one you just insert the you know blade here and this is when you want to cut uh, your body skin and then there's another piece which is right here and this one is already kind of installed uh, they gave up one uh, extra blade and this one is to uh, cut sensitive skin where you don't want to you know go to uh, use the full skin uh, trimmer so this is kind of for sensitive parts of the body and then here uh, this is the regular uh, skin or regular uh, face cutter so I'm going to shave half of my face dry and half of my face uh, wet so that way I can understand that you know whether how effective is this product doing both wet shaving and uh, dry shaving so I have my uh, process of shaving cream right here and I have Omega S series brush so I'm just going to put some uh, shaving foam in the bowl or shaving cream in the bowl uh, that should be good enough and I'm just going to with the brush and I'll just try to you know, foam it up so this is going to be my right side of my face and and the left side I'll just keep totally dry So you can see that I have little foam. Uh, I don't have that much foam uh, because you know this is just good enough. So let's do this side like this. Okay, so it looks like I have some water coming out of the brush. Probably I didn't shake them properly. Okay. Okay, for now, this is good enough. If I need to lather up later on, I can just, you know, use it again. So, here we have the Philips, and let's start with the uh, dry side first. So, I'm going to turn it on by pressing here, and you can hear the noise. And I think this can go against the grain, but I'll try to do the grain way first. And actually, I can see that it's cutting perfectly that's so it looks like it so far so good and I even didn't go against the grain I heard that you cannot cut your skin with this razor and that's the way it looks like So I'll just remove some hairs, uh, I don't know how you can remove other way, so I have a feeling that actually you can see uh, on my shirt that I got some hair on my shirt, I think so that's the problem with uh, dry shaving, you're gonna get hair on your shirt, but uh, you know, wet shaving should solve that problem, but let's just finish what we are doing.
So I'm not looking for the world's best shape. As long as you know it's something acceptable, that should be okay. And so far, it looks good. Okay, so this side looks like okay. Uh, I'm just going to take a close look on the mirror. And the thing, you can, uh, although I think the camera cannot catch it, but my, you know, shirt is messed up with uh, dry hair. So now I'm going to switch to the right side, but it looks like my foam dried. So I'm just going to like and apply a little bit more foam. And we're going to do the wet shaving right now. Okay, so I washed it a little bit in the water. And then let's start with this part and see how it goes. I'm just going to clean up foam from here. The sound, it kind of sounds like barbershop sound. Okay, so I'm just going to wash it again because now the beard or stubble is uh, accumulating on the blade rather than on my t-shirt. So with this you can actually apply pressure, it's not going to cut your face. Okay, so I'm just going to wash again.
Okay, that should be good enough. Let me just wash this and I'm just going to wipe my face a little bit and we'll see what's going on. Okay, so guys, I'm going to go off camera for like 10, 20 seconds. I'll just take a quick look on the mirror to see uh, how I look like. Okay, so looks like actually the dry shaving is better than the wet shaving because you know I have lots of uh, stubble here and I can see some like in here it didn't remove it but this part it's almost removed everything but I see a little bit here but you know I was not trying to be perfect because this is the first time it's just a review I think that this works better when I try to do dry shave than wet shave but overall I'm happy with the product I have nothing to complain about except the packaging it's a terrible packaging it took me a lot of time to open the packaging and even I couldn't open it I had to break the packaging but in terms of like you know price and the functionality and everything definitely you know uh, I don't regret buying it and I'm happy with the product so the Philips one blade and on this channel I have more uh, review videos of uh, you know double edge safety razor and regular cartridge or uh, other razors so I'm going to put a link on the screen so i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching